Hello, my spooky loves. It feels good to say spooky loves again because I feel like we're at the point on this channel where everything is going to be Halloween again. I have filmed two videos already today. Both were Halloween based. This is Halloween based. My next one's Halloween based. And then next week we're gonna start hunting for Halloween. So it just feels right to say spooky loves again. So I think I'm gonna start doing that. Anyways, I have a very exciting video for you today. Now, I know some people have already opened this, so I might be behind, but I was in Salem when Spirit Halloween sent me this beautiful PR package, and I haven't looked at it yet. I really wanted to film it and look at it with you guys for the first time. So, I know some other people have shared what's inside. Hopefully, you have not seen. Either way, I just wanted to film it because I like to share everything with you guys here, and I'm really excited. So been lucky enough to work with Spirit Halloween a few years in a row now and I'm hoping that we can also work together this fall. I believe we will be working together this fall but I'll have to give you more details about that once things are finalized. However, they did send me this beautiful PR package and I am pumped for it. So the only thing I did do was lift this little latch up because my boys were dying. My kids are such huge huge Spirit Halloween fans. We will be doing walkthrough videos together, Spirit Halloween hauls, the whole thing. So they were like dying for me to open this and they cannot wait. They're with Mimi right now when they get home. There's like actual kinetic like sand in here that feels like dirt and it smells <laughs> like a graveyard. It is so cool. So inside the box, just in case you missed that part, it says Spirit Halloween Cemetery, established 1983. And then when you open it up, we have this whole lower section here that like literally, like I said, is like full of dirt. And then up top, oh my God, I wish you could smell it. It's so great, it literally smells like you're walking around a damp graveyard, it smells so good. And then up here we have our little shovel and a note. So. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna to try to make this as easy as I can for you guys to like see what I'm doing. We're gonna remove our little shovel first and then let's take our little note off. So I'm so grateful. I always feel so blown away to get to work with companies like Spirit Halloween. Like sometimes I'm like, who are you? Like, who are you? Like, I don't know, it's very cool. And it's not lost on me that it is a huge blessing in my life, so. Anyways, here's our package. Look at that seal. I love our little beautiful seal. It has like a little star. I just love wax seals. I wanna be that person who writes letters and seals them like this. Inside, it just says, <laughs> oh, it's so cool. The paper is like all old and distressed. It says, dig in with bats. That is so cool. And then it says, Spirit Hollows Cemetery. Share your fellow residents with a little QR code and then their tag. Okay, so we got our little shovel. So I want you to be able to see this. And this is my bitch, as always. Okay, ready? Look, we're gonna lift up our flap. This is so cute. And then inside is a coffin that says, Look how cool that is. Okay, let me get my coffin out. Make sure there's nothing else in there. What a freaking creative package. Like, can I just say, how cool is that? Look at that again, in case you missed it. Like, it opens up like this. Like, you're literally digging up the grave. They're so freaking creative. I think it was like two years ago, even after I was done the collaboration, which by the way, I'm gonna keep this box. Like, I don't know for what, but that is so cool. Even when I was done the collaboration with them, they ended up sending like another package out. By the way, sorry if you see these, I was swatching in my last video. Um, they ended up sending like another random PR package out that was just full of so many cool things. Spirit has just like nailed the whole PR thing. Okay, so here's our coffin. And then there's our little clasp. After we open this together, I am gonna to pull up their website because I do want to see. Oh my God, look how cute. Stop it. Wow, oh, he's heavy. Oh my God, this is so cute. And inside we have this beautiful red. And then look at our poor soul that is in the coffin. Oh my God, 
Look how cool that is. I love it. I'm gonna unwrap him. Ew, and he's like wrapped in like bloody gauze. Oh my God, this is so cute. Oh, it's a magnet. I love that. So here's our little bloody gauze. Blech. And then here is our awesome little vampire man. Look at that. And you can hang him like this upside down on your fridge, which I will literally be doing as soon as I am done filming this. Look how cool the details. He is so creepy. I love this so much. And so Spirit Halloween does these little sneak peeks. Oh my God, there's a rat in the coffin, I just realized too. Um, to kind of give you like a heads up about new things coming out. So obviously this being a cemetery with a grave lets you know a little bit of insight into more than likely what the store is going to look like. So we all know that they changed themes. One of my favorites ever was the like factory that they had. If you remember where it was, um, it was like that cool screen, it was like a movie and you would watch the skeletons walk by as they were like getting the pumpkins ready and then there was a conveyor belt with all the pumpkins. They would go in as pumpkins and then come out as jack-o'-lanterns. They crushed it that year. Um, per usual and so my guess is now when you walk in the initial theme is going to be graveyard cemetery themed which i am so here for i wanted to pull up their website real quick because i've been getting some emails about sorry if i'm like doing this i have like a little bit of dirt um i've been getting emails from them already and i just want to look at their website to see if we have any up as far as animatronics go so it looks like there are already a good bit of new ones on their website, which is awesome. There are some repeats as always, which I actually like because some of them are just so like classic to me. Uh, but <laughs> there are some new ones like this six foot cotton candy cocoon, which is a hanging prop from the killer clowns. That is so funny. Oh my God, I love it. Um, and then We've got the man's possessed friend. We've got Sam, lots of clowns again, which is like my favorite. Wyatt loves Crouchy. There's so many good ones. Oh, Buzzsaw's back. So many good ones. So as I learn more, I will keep you posted. Why don't I remember her? Betty Sharp. She may have been here before. I just don't remember seeing her in my local stores. I am getting so excited though because we're not that far away from Spirit popping up. In fact, on one of my Facebook groups, somebody already shared the signage going up at their local Spirit Halloween. And I have like four or five of them around here. So I will be going to all of them. I figured I will take you to them all. We'll do different walkthroughs because inevitably they always have like a few different things at each one. And then like I said, I'll also share whatever I buy, what costumes, because we do always end up getting our costumes from there. Here's a really cool one, the Grave Grabber. I don't remember him either. I'm sure these have been online. I just don't remember them as far as like being at my local store. Let's play the video. <laughs> I know that people who are watching this get it. I'm just getting really almost like emotionally excited that we're here. I know, you get it. I just, I struggle so much from January through June. I really, really do. And it's almost like the opposite of like most people's seasonal depression. I just live for the Burr months and I am just as obsessed with Christmas as I am Halloween. So if you're new here, um, we will do Halloween now all the way through the end of October and then we will majorly switch to Christmas for two months and then we'll go back to like Halloween things that feed our soul until Halloween hunting in June starts again. Uh, but yes, I'll be doing all these kind of Christmas videos too because I love it. But that's my point is like there is something to feed my soul from June through December because June through October it is Halloween hunting, Halloween shopping, prep, planning, videos. It's just time. And then I always get this like weird feeling after Halloween ends, but I am so in love with Christmas that it's like, oh, I just pulled my earring out. Oh my God. Hold please. It wasn't clasped. There we go. 
And then it's like after Halloween ends, I have this like brief moment. This fly is, he's got to die. Um, this brief moment of like sadness, but then I'm so obsessed with Christmas and I start playing the music and the movies, which are my favorite of all time. And so yeah, anyways, Halloween and Christmas end. And I just am like, I don't know what to do with my life, if that makes sense, like professionally, mentally. <laughs> um, so just the fact that we are Halloween hunting again, and like I have Halloween showing up at my door. The next video I'm gonna film is a big code orange. It just feels so good, it just does. Like seeing Spirit Halloween, getting their PR packages. I just, anyways, I'm just rambling now. I just feel happy and I feel like myself again. And I love this time of the year with you guys. And we have the rest of June, July, August, September, and October to enjoy that. And then I hope that there's a lot of you out there who are also obsessed with Christmas. I don't do Creepmas. I am a true Christmas fanatic. So I'll have all that decorate with me videos and stuff for Christmas as well. So we're just in it. We are in it. It is happening and I am so excited about it. Okay, anyways, we will dive into more Spirit Halloween as it gets closer and when I start to see signage and stuff, there'll be a lot of spirit on the channel. But for now, we are going to switch gears a little bit and we are going to talk about Back and Body Works because there have been so many updates and I wanted to give my thoughts and opinions on some of the stuff that is coming up. So Life Inside the Page blogspot, if you're not following that blog, she has pretty much <laughs> just shared everything that's coming this year for Bath and Body Works. So if you don't want to know and you want to be surprised when you walk into the store, don't watch this video from this point on or any others. But if you're like me and you're nosy and you gotta just dive in, I'm just gonna share some of the pictures with you guys. So first we have different wall plugins. Um, here is the first one, which is so cool looking. It's like oozing out the side. Very, very neat. I'm trying to think of I'm trying to like read up and see what they're calling these. So these are the wallflower heaters. Okay, we have this I thought was so cool. As we all remember when the witch hand, the vampire but looked like a witch hand, and the bust came out and everybody lost their minds. I own this bust as well as the hand and now they have it as the plug-in, which I think is so cool looking. I think a lot of people are gonna really like having that. And it does light up, and here's the cool thing. It looks like it lights up, and my guess is, yeah, so that's gonna, it's not a guess, it is. It is going to have the jack-o'-lantern face lit up on the wall, like we know that a lot of these do. So it's gonna end up being like the bus, and then when it's lit up, his head is shining there, which is really, really cool. I like that one. Then we have, for some pocket back holders, it looks like we have the hands still. There are still hands. They are not letting go of the hand thing. The witch hands that will hold on to your sanitizer. And then this one's really cool looking. I actually really like this one. It is a skeleton hand holding a melting, dripping, bloody looking candle and it does say that it lights up so my guess is that the wick here is going to light up and that again will hold your pocket back this one i really love i think he is so precious this is probably the one that i'll be getting our little skeleton buddy who is all dressed up he is so stinking cute i like the ones that dangle like that you know i just do super super cute okay and then i know we talked a little bit about the body care, but we definitely, I know these are gonna be a little bit blurry, but um, we definitely have some more sneak peeks here. So this is Everlasting Magic. I actually really, really enjoy this packaging. I think that is stunning. There's something about the color of this one that I am like really drawn to. So I think that one's gonna be really nice. And then we have the Midnight Spell, which again, like beautiful, this packaging. I have to admit, we'll go over some of the candles Ugh, and they're just, most of the candles are not doing it for me now, guys, this year. It sucks, but they're just not. I don't know. Here's Vampire Blood for the year. Very classic. They kind of kept it, like, super classy, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I don't know, though. I'm just not, like, obsessed. I don't know. 
Here is Vampire Blood, Moonlit Graveyard, and then Ghoul Friend in your pocket backs. Very cool to see. Oh, that's picking up. They are going to be a little bit blurry because they're like a little bit blurry on the blog, and now I'm putting it through to here. Okay, and then here is a full look at the Halloween pocket back clips. Actually, I don't think I saw a cat. The cat would be the one that I'm getting now. And that skeleton, he glows. His head glows when it lights up. But this cat, which is super blurry, I'm sorry. That'll be the one that I get, though, for sure. Because you know me, I'm all about classic, nostalgic Halloween. He is my kind of colors. We have the spider. There's the skeleton with his head lighting up. The witch hands. And then the cute little ghosty, maybe one that I have to get as well. Very cute. But the cat is like... That, that one's going to be mine. And then we have two of the um, sanitizing sprays in Vampire Blood and Perfect Pumpkin, which I am very glad to see Perfect Pumpkin is back. Very cute. I like these sprays a lot. Perfect Pumpkin is one of my favorite scents. So good. And they're going to have lip glosses in Midnight Plum, Candy Red, Candy Apple Red, and then Vampire Blood Flavor Burst lip gloss. Hmm. And that's the only one that says Flavor Burst is the Vampire Blood, so that's interesting. Okay, and then we have a few more sneak peeks of the candles. So we have Pumpkin Carving, which is funny. So this one I like, okay? This whole like stained glass look that they're doing this year, I like it in this particular one, the Pumpkin Carving. But I've got to say, I'm not, I'm not a super big fan. I feel like in past years, I get it though. In past years, I feel like they really catered to like classic Halloween and they have gone very like goth and dark with the aesthetics this year and that's just not at all how I decorate for Halloween or my life so they're just a little like mm, a little like ornate there's just a little too much happening this is ghoul friend and like as you can see like they're beautiful it's just that won't go in my house if that makes sense so you all may be loving it vampire blood I'm just not like wowed by the packaging, which sucks because you know we wait, but a lot of people will be wild, so it just depends. And then single wicks, we have Vampire Blood, Ghoul Friend, and Pumpkin Carving. Pumpkin Carving will always be the one in this packaging that I'm most drawn to because one, it's my favorite scent out of all of these, but it also looks the most traditional Halloween. So that's just gonna be what I'm the most drawn to. Okay, and then we have Halloween Room Sprays. So we've got Ghoul Friend, Moonlight Graveyard, and Vampire Blood. These are actually cute. Like these, I think these are kind of cool looking because the Moonlight Graveyard packaging is very cool too, which is this one down here. Again, I'm so sorry. These are blurry. They're just blurry on the site. There we go. It's a little bit better. So those are cute. Like I love the ghosty in this one. And then it looks like for the wallflowers, we have Moonlight Graveyard, Pumpkin Carving, Wicked Vanilla Woods was thrown into the mix and then Vampire Blood. Okay, and now here are, I'm really excited about these, all of the wallflower plugins. So many really cute ones. I have to get this. There's two that I have to get, if not three. First up, we have the Spooky House, which they do a different Spooky House every year. I'm not in love with this one, but it's good. The Skeleton. The one we already looked at, and then this will be an absolute must for me. I am in love with the ghost. This ghost reminds me of the jack-o'-lantern from last year, which I also got. It's kind of got that like sheen to it like the jack-o'-lantern did, and I think it's going to glow like the jack-o'-lantern did, and that one I can't wait to put back out. So I have to get the ghost so I can go with the jack-o'-lantern as well. The bat is very cool, kind of the same effect. I don't decorate with purples. But Mandy, if you're watching this, that one has you written all over it because it's really, really cute. We've got the snake, which we're seeing on the lids of the candles. I thought this was kind of funny. They threw in like a traditional pumpkin, which if you're someone who only wants fall, that's perfect. And then the coffin, which is really cool. Again, if you decorate with like a darker aesthetic. And then the last ones are the one that we just looked at, which I probably will end up wanting to get this one. I'm a little, I don't know, I'm a little unsure right now. Um, but I do like that it glows. And then the carriage is super cool. So detailed. That one's very neat. And then this, just like in the pocket pack holder, will be one that I have to get as well. I'll probably put this in the bathroom. And then the ghost and the jack-o'-lantern in my kitchen. So cute. And then it looks like, for Halloween accessories, we have a skeleton hand soap holder, okay, that lights up. 
Kind of like the witch hand one, but this one lights up instead. So that's cool. A little bit of a change to it. And then also, I don't remember ever seeing this, and I could be completely wrong, but this is a fragrance mist holder, which is kind of cool. Like if you leave your Bath and Body Works body spray out somewhere, you can put the snake around it, like sit it inside of it. I think that's really neat. And then for our cars, we are given three new clips for the car. We've got this one here, again, that goes with the whole gold, like darker aesthetic, the snake. And then this one that goes with all of the skull with the crown theme that we're seeing. And then the spider with the bright little ruby gem, which is very cool looking too. But as a whole, like overall, they're definitely leaning more towards like the goth side, 100% this year. Which again is cool because like, you know, there's gotta be something for everyone. Dark decadence, like see what I mean? This is like the rose that's like dripping, the little blood drip. And then this one is so interesting to me. It's like a spider web. And it's cool because it's gonna be like see-through, which I think is neat and very different. It's very cool. I think those are both for single wicks. Um, yes, those are both single wicks. And then here is the big luminary haunted house, which is very cool looking. I actually really like this one because the little jack-o'-lanterns, super cool. I know people that collect these because they do a different house every year. And then it looks like as far as the pedestals go, falling right in line with the whole theme that they're doing. We've got this one, these are your three wick pedestals. And then you've got the gold with the blood dripping. And then we have, it's funny how they're throwing in some like fall. That looks like there's a spider on the side. This one is just like your basic pumpkin, I believe. Where would it be? Right here, that that's a spider crawling, possibly. And then this one is very cool. It reminds me a little bit of the crow that we saw last year. Just like that kind of vibe. I don't know if this one's gonna move or anything yet. But a lot of sneak peeks. So we pretty much have everything out now, unless they have some surprises up their sleeve. But let me know in the comments for sure what your thoughts are as a whole on the lines. Um, I think I've made it pretty clear they're not my favorite by far, but that happens from time to time. I am so stuck on like the pumpkin carving packaging that was two years ago now, I believe. Um, that was kind of like eerie and like weird. The pumpkins looked strange, kind of like they were like dying. I don't know. I just like more of the traditional colors and I definitely, with my white and wood house, do not do any sort of like a goth. But if you, like this line to me has Sierra written all over it. Like if you are someone who likes more of like a vampy dark aesthetic, you're gonna love everything this year and that makes me so excited for you because it's beautiful pieces, but it'll really go with your home, your room, your aesthetic, whatever it is. So let me know what your thoughts are. I love talking Bath and Body Works. I believe that she has also said that as of July 5th, we are supposed to have all of the fall and limited Halloween released. And then a second launch of Halloween will come out later in July. So we are really, really close now, guys, because when I'm filming this, it's like the 23rd or something. So anyways, Thank you so much for watching this very random video. I kind of want to like a chit chat, catch up about Bath and Body Works. And I had to share the Spirit Halloween because I know we're all so excited to see Spirit stuff coming out soon. All the good vibes, my loves. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.